Hey everyone, it's Steve here. I uh, just wanted to kind of go over this little retopology demo uh, that I went over with Phil the other day. I decided to just kind of put together this video so uh, that I can remember what I've done before. Um, in the meantime, uh, this is some of the steps that I have uh, that I picked out. And I, I basically just wanted to show that if you have a base mesh uh, that you sculpted from, that you can basically use that base mesh again uh, with the conform tool in 3ds Max and uh, basically have that as your low poly model um, after you're done. Uh, it's a pretty cool tool and uh, it makes kind of retopology pretty quick uh, especially if you're kind of using the same type of models, uh, humanoid uh, type. I feel that uh, this would be a good kind of workflow uh, for that type of work. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get all of the kind of, uh, forearm and arms and hands in the close position to the high poly. And once I've fin finished that, I'll go ahead and start using the conform tool. So you notice here I'm just going to make some uh, adjustments to the farm. And uh, that's going to be the first example of using the conform tool. Uh, you can find that under the freeform selection, and uh, I'll be able to kind of push those low poly mesh onto the high poly mesh, and uh, kind of take the shape of it. So here we go. I'm going to start using the conform brush and uh, just kind of adjust some of the settings, and just start kind of pulling and pushing. And this is done with the mouse. I'm just clicking and. You can see that the low poly mesh now is taking kind of that form of the high poly forearm. And uh, kind of do the same thing with the shoulders here. I'm just going to select uh, what I need and kind of detach it. But uh, making sure that I detach it to element uh, so that it still stays conformed to the high poly mesh. And it's really simple once you kind of got everything where you want it placed, you just kind of start clicking and I'll just start pulling. Um, I usually like to use the offset of like 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.05 is pretty good too. Um, but you know, it's up to what you really need. And then at this point, you can either weld uh, the borders that uh, you kind of detached before. Um, but uh, I kind of messed up a little bit, so I had to go ahead and just delete a row. Uh, and go ahead and just bridge bridge them together. Um, either way is fine. And I'm just going to use that conform brush again. Kind of make sure that I'm matching that silhouette of the high poly. And uh, you can notice that if you notice near the conform tool, there's other tools there. And I like to mess around with them sometimes just to kind of see what type of effects they give. Um, I used a little bit of the relax there to kind of just kind of even out the polygons. And then once again use the conform tool to match the silhouette. But uh, here you can see the difference between the arms. The new retopologized arm on the high poly versus the regular arm that was the base mesh. And just to let you guys know this base mesh uh, was provided by Mudbox. So, you know, just for example, I wanted to show you guys. 